Hello, and welcome to the Department of Chemistry Spring Awards Ceremony. My name is Alan Easker, and I have the distinct pleasure of serving as department chair. While we cannot be together in person, thank you for joining us virtually. This year has been difficult for all of us, and I must say, I am really proud of the way we have all persevered and navigated Zoom and the balance between online and in-person instruction. I would like to recognize the members of the Department of Chemistry Advisory Council, or DCAC. DCAC was founded in 1997 and is made up of Department of Chemistry alumni and friends. The council meets twice yearly to assist the department in a variety of ways. This award ceremony, virtual or otherwise, would not be possible without their support. Just a few days ago, DCAT served as poster judges for the virtual undergraduate poster session put together by Professor Joe Marola. Thank you, Joe and DCAT, for all that you do. Despite this year's challenges, it was not without its successes. John Matson was appointed the Dr. A.C. Lilly Jr. Faculty Fellow of Nanoscience by the College of Science. Aaron Geller received an Excellence in Teaching Award from the Center of Excellence in Teaching and Learning. Diego Troya not only received a Certificate of Teaching Excellence from the College of Science, but also the coveted Alumni Teaching Award. Webster Santos was named an Outstanding Faculty Mentor by the Graduate School. Stephanie Spence, a graduate student in Professor Fung Wing's group, won one of two William Preston Master's Thesis Awards from the Graduate School. Of course, these are just some of the highlights and do not include the remarkable research and learning that has gone on over the course of this academic year. Now, I would like to pass the baton to our graduate program director, John Morris, to tell you about some of the great things going on in our graduate program. Well, thank you, Professor Isker. Again, my name is John Morris. I have the pleasure of serving as the graduate program director here in the Department of Chemistry where it's really a privilege to help guide graduate students throughout their graduate careers, especially when we have such wonderful graduate students, some of whom you'll hear about today. It is our graduate students who are responsible for running the department. They do everything from service to teaching to research. It is the graduate students who are helping us teach the undergraduates here at Virginia Tech. They teach our labs. They work as graders for our courses. They even give lectures. We couldn't do any of this without them. They do such a wonderful job and dedicate many, many hours every semester to teaching our undergraduate students. We thank all of them for their service and teaching. But there are other ways they serve the department as well. Our graduate students help us recruit the best and brightest undergraduate students who are looking to go to graduate school. Graduate student recruiting is a big part of what our students do. Our students have also stepped up to help us run the graduate program. They have discussion groups. They provide advice to us on how we can best guide students throughout the curriculum. They give even suggestions for courses that might be taught to help make the program better. So in terms of service, we thank the graduate students for all the service they do. But their biggest mission here is research. They're studying to get their PhD degree in chemistry or their master's degree in chemistry. So they're researching a great deal. So our graduate students are in the lab making the new discoveries that professors like myself get to publish on. Our graduate students work tirelessly in the research lab and we couldn't do fulfill our research mission without their hard work and dedication in the research lab. So we thank you for your strong research as well. We'll recognize just a handful out of the many, many extraordinary graduate students in our department today with our graduate student service, teaching, and research awards. The award nominations are made usually by the instructor of record for the teaching awards, almost always by the student's research advisor for the research awards, 
And then the service award can come from a variety of places, either from the graduate program director or the graduate coordinator or other faculty who just recognize that, that graduate students are going out and doing service that is above and beyond what is expected of a typical graduate student. Those nominations are made to the Graduate Education Committee, which is composed of faculty from across different disciplines within the department. The Graduate Education Committee reads the student's curriculum vita and the nomination letters. Nomination letters are always very glowing. And we get many nominations for each of these awards. We can't recognize everyone. But the letters are, are just outstanding. And I thank all the faculty and instructors for nomination letters for these awards. From all those nominations, we down select a few of the awards. The first award I'll be announcing today is the Graduate Service Award, given to students who've really gone the extra mile for the department and helping make our department better. This nominee was nominated by Jolie Quinn, our graduate program coordinator, in conjunction with myself, Professor Morris. And uh, the student has done so much for our department and is always there to lend a hand when needed. This year's Graduate Service Award goes to Graham Frazier. Well, now I have the opportunity to speak to you as a research director rather than graduate program director. As a research director, I'm here to acknowledge Graham Frazier and his tremendous service to the graduate program. Congratulations, Graham, on winning the Department of Chemistry Service Award for graduate students. The reason you won this award is that not only did I nominate you, but Jolie Wynn nominated you, our graduate program coordinator, for this award. And when we were talking, we realized just how much you contribute to the graduate program. In terms of my own research group, you're the first person to lend a hand when anyone needs help in the lab. You'll drop your own work to go help someone, which is wonderful. Uh, your pleasure to have around for that reason and for many other reasons. You're our chemical hygiene officer for the group, and you do a great job in uh, keeping the lab safe and reviewing uh, safety issues every single work week during group meeting. You're there to lead us through uh, the most relevant safety topics for the lab. In terms of the graduate program, you help and you volunteer for nearly every graduate student recruiting weekend. Thank you for doing that. Jolie has said she knows who to call when she needs something done for the graduate program because you're always there. If you're here on campus, uh, you'll be over to help her with just about anything for the recruiting weekend or the graduate student picnic or any other activities that we have going on. I know you've helped us recruit graduate students by meeting individually with them, by taking them out to lunch, by presenting our group poster at the recruiting weekend, uh, and you're a welcoming face for the department. So you make our graduate program better. And for that type of service, you're being rewarded with the service award this year. Thank you again for all your service, and uh, I look forward to another year of working with you both in the lab and in the graduate program. Well, congratulations, Graham. The next set of awards are for teaching. As I mentioned earlier, our graduate students are really the lifeblood of our teaching mission here, and we could not possibly teach the thousands and thousands of undergrads every semester chemistry without the help of dedicated graduate students. A few of the students we get to recognize uh, during this event. The first student, a recipient of a graduate teaching award for 2021 is Christina Kegasova. Congratulations, Christina. You are nominated by Professor Jim Tanko. On behalf of the Department of Chemistry, I am pleased to honor and recognize Ms. Christina Kegasova soon to be Dr. Christina Kagasova for her efforts in Chem 2555, 2556, which is Organic Synthesis and Techniques Lab, and for her being awarded one of the Graduate Student Teaching Excellence Awards. What you're seeing on the screen right now is Christina at work in the context of preparing a video lecture for Syntec Lab. Simply stated, Christina is a superb teacher. She has demonstrated enormous enthusiasm and creativity in her approach 
and her efforts have far exceeded expectations. In many ways, I view her more as a colleague than somebody working under my supervision. She takes initiative. She has developed new course materials, lectures, handouts, and these have become a permanent part of the course. Because of COVID, we were one of the very few and first courses that was offered in person in fall 2020. Because of social distancing requirements, the course had to be drastically restructured in terms of the number of students present in the lab at any one time, the length of in-person time, and more. And so we were basically making things up as we went along, and we needed to adapt, revise quickly from week to week. Christina played a major role in helping make this work. Christina knows what the experiment's about, and she has a good fundamental understanding of chemistry in general. She has an excellent rapport with her students and is creative in the terms of offering solutions to novel problems. And it is those traits that helped ensure the success of Syntec Lab this past year. And so in closing, congratulations to Christina for a job extremely well done. It has been a pleasure and an honor working with you. Well, thank you, Professor Tanko. That was one of six teaching awards we had this year because there are just so many excellent teachers that the Graduate Education Committee expanded our list of awardees to typical four to six this year. Well, the next recipient of a Graduate Student Teaching Award is Cole Gannett. Cole was nominated by Professor Andrew Lowell. I'd like to thank Cole Gannett for the excellent job that he's done being TA in the Medicinal Chemistry Capstone Lab. Not only does he work extraordinarily hard and get a lot of stuff done in the lab, but he's been a lifesaver in getting the first year of this lab up and running. Because of COVID, we had to have two sections of the course instead of one. And the way we went about doing this was expanding our offering from two times a week to three hours to three times a week to four hours. That meant that I got to see him bright and early every morning at 7 15 to pick him up and go into lab in order to see the students. But he always had a smile on his face and was ready to go. He also handled a very important part of the course, HPLC assay development and teaching students how to do that. He basically handled that section of the course all by himself while I was teaching students how to run bioassays, which oftentimes took me out of the room that he was teaching in and back over into the research labs in order to do that. In summary, Cole, thank you very much for all of your wonderful help this semester. And congratulations with your teaching. Professor Amanda Morris, who taught general chemistry this semester, nominates Hannah Cornell for Graduate Teaching Award. Congratulations, Hannah. I also would like to congratulate you on a personal level because Hannah taught analytical chemistry for me last semester, and she did a fantastic job in analytical chemistry. So she's very well deserving of this graduate teaching award. Hi everyone, I'm Amanda Morris and I had the pleasure to work with Hannah Cornell as my teaching assistant in general chemistry lecture this year. A major component of general chemistry lecture are the recitations, which are TA led. And even though each week I provide Hannah with a bank of questions which she can use to work through with students during recitation, Hannah is responsible for picking those questions, working through the problems and putting them together in a PowerPoint for students to interact with. Hannah also is responsible for working through the quizzes that are at the end of the recitation section. Um, indeed, for the electrochemistry unit, she even created her own recitation worksheet with problems and crafted her own quiz, which brought together balancing redox reactions and common nomenclature in electrochemistry. She also is responsible for the demos for the second half of the class and this is no easy task because some of the demos take quite a lot of prep for example i know this weekend she took quite amount of time figuring out how to dissolve eggshells uh, so that we could demonstrate osmosis in the colligative properties unit lastly and i think this is true of all of the teaching assistants who are getting this award this year with the restrictions of covid and both in-person and virtual teaching um, it is a struggle not only for the instructor, but also our teaching assistants. And Hannah took this in stride. Hannah is the teaching assistant for both our virtual general chemistry majors and also our in-person general chemistry majors who are taking this class. She has to post everything twice, 
for those in class and post them for virtual. She has to manage doing virtual exams at the same time as running in-person exams. And really, I don't think I could have done it without Hannah's help. I should also mention that this is par for the course in terms of Hannah's teaching. I know that she has been nominated for this award before. And so I'm very, very happy to see Hannah finally get the recognition she deserves for the effort that she puts into teaching here at Virginia Tech. So congratulations, Hannah. The next graduate teaching award recipient is Tiffany Thompson, nominated by, by Professor Michael Scholes. Tiffany's taught for us for many years and she always does an excellent job. I nominated Tiffany Thompson for a graduate teaching award after working with her last fall when I was teaching fundamentals of macromolecular science and engineering for the first time. This graduate level course focuses on characterization techniques in polymer science and has a relatively involved lab component. Courses often go through an adjustment when taught by a new person, and this was certainly no exception. But in this case, the changes were particularly extensive due to the pandemic. Tiffany was heavily involved in planning these labs. She made videos of each experiment, as well as ran each lab on a rotation schedule so that each student could experience at least part of the experiment and have some exposure to the instrumentation. This workaround dramatically increased the workload of her TA assignment relative to a normal year. And yet, despite the extremely challenging circumstances, Tiffany remained cheerful and upbeat throughout the semester. I heard from multiple students that Tiffany did an amazing job as their TA. It is impossible for me to overstate Tiffany's importance to the success of macromolecular fundamentals this last year. And so I'm very excited that her long hours of diligent work are being recognized by this award. It is my pleasure to announce the next recipient of our Graduate Teaching Award, nominated by Professor Lou Madsen. Rue Jung. Hi, I'm Professor Lou Madsen, and um, I just want to say congratulations to Ray Jung, uh, who I nominated for the Graduate Teaching Award, um, and who's receiving that this year, I think very well deserved. Um, I just want to say a few words about Ray. Um, congratulations, Ray, on your award. Um, Ray, uh, has TA'd four different classes uh, in our department, including uh, PCHEM Thermodynamics Lecture 3615 and PCHEM Lab 2 3626, which involves quantum and spectroscopy concepts. Uh, Ray has always really gone above and beyond uh, the call uh, when he's in all of his activities. Uh, these include grading lab reports and, um, and uh, providing detailed feedback to students on uh, homeworks and exam results, um, providing patient and clear mentoring to students, even on really quite advanced uh, PCHEM material in quantum and thermo, um, delivering lab lectures and a guest, you know, guest lectures in, uh, in the lecture course, overseeing operation of the lab, uh, writing exam questions in 30, 3615 and testing those um, developing and modifying new labs, uh, improving old labs for um, 3626, the PCHEM lab, and, and really gives, giving students, again, a, a lot of nice feedback on their written work, and that's quite a writing intensive class. Finally, I'll just say that um, he has also gone above and beyond by providing uh, safe, safety and language assistance for some other labs that uh, are not labs he's assigned to, but, but he was asked to, to help with, and uh, he gladly did that. So congratulations to Ray and to all the award winners and uh, all the best. Thank you, Professor Madsen. Congratulations, Rue. Our final award recipient of a graduate teaching award for 2021 is Paul Arcordia, nominated by Professor Felicia Edscorn. Congratulations, Paul. Good morning. Um, this is to thank Paul Arcoria for his, all of his um, great teaching as a graduate teaching assistant. Congratulations on winning the Graduate TA Award. Um, Paul, thank you for all the contributions that you've made to green chemistry over the last three years now, uh, starting with editing my book and transitioning to completely online in the middle of the pandemic to this semester when we were entirely online and we never even got to meet the students in person. 
And all the while you were doing such a great job of managing the Canvas site and keeping up with all the grading and just doing an awesome job of keeping me in line and keeping everything organized and interacting with the students. And I'd like to turn it over now to Christine Fonts, who is currently a student in green chemistry. Congratulations, Paul. I wanted to help nominate you for this award because I think you were the best teaching assistant that I've had throughout my time at Virginia Tech. You were so patient with us, and I think that's especially important for a class like Green Chemistry that's interdisciplinary with students from multiple backgrounds. Um, and thank you so much for helping me deepen my learning about Green Chemistry. Congratulations. One of the primary missions of the Department of Chemistry at Research One University, like Virginia Tech, is research, making new discoveries and communicating those new discoveries to the scientific community. We could not even approach that mission without wonderful, talented, dedicated graduate students. And I want to take this moment just to thank all of the 140 graduate students in our department who are making new discoveries really on a daily basis. Today, I get to recognize just a handful of students. We had many, many nominations, and I wish we could give awards to all of them. But we've been able to select four graduate students to receive graduate research awards this year. Thank you to all the faculty who nominated students, and congratulations to all students who've published papers or even made a new discovery this year and are working on a publication. You're doing really fantastic work. The first recipient of the Graduate Research Award goes to Vibin Abraham. Vibin was nominated by Professor Nick Mayhall. Hello everyone, this is Nick Mayhall. I'm Vibin Abraham's advisor, and it was a great pleasure to nominate Vibin for the Graduate Research Award, which I think he's uh, completely um, uh, deserving. He, has, he started my group in 2016 and has uh, made tremendous progress in developing as an independent and creative scientist over the years. So um, uh, Vibin has worked on two main projects in my group. One is um, a, a new formalism for representing wave functions in, in ab initio electronic structure calculations. So um, if any of you have, have run Gaussian calculations before, Basically, these are, these are calculations which start with Gaussian basis sets and then uh, use slave determinants to come up to approximate the electronic wave function. So this project that Vibin has been involved in throws out the notion of a slave determinant altogether and instead seeks a representation for the electronic wave function, which encodes a lot of the um, uh, chemical information directly into the representation of the wave function. So the notion of a functional group that is critical in understanding any kind of, chemi uh, or you know, especially in organic chemistry, any kind of reactivity or structure is baked into the representation itself in an exact form. So this is a very complicated, um, uh, very sophisticated uh, project and Vibin took this on um, and, and did an extremely great job with this over the past few years. Vibin has also been involved in a more um, applications-driven project, which is um, developing techniques for modeling bi-excitonic states in singlet fission mechanisms uh, in photovoltaic uh, molecular materials. So without getting into the, uh, the details of this, I think he's uh, done a great job on both of these projects. His, his CV definitely demonstrates this, especially with this recognition at, at various international and domestic conferences. And so I just want to say congratulations to Vibin, and I uh, wish we could have been doing this in, in person, but this is, uh, this is as close as we can get. So um, join me in saying congratulations. All right, thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Thank you, Professor Mayhall. One exciting thing about the nominations this year is we had nominations from across all disciplines. And actually, awards were, were made by the Graduate Education Committee to students across very different disciplines, although that wasn't necessarily intentional. It reflects the fact that we are doing very high-level research in many different areas, from physical chemistry, computational chemistry, polymer chemistry, synthetic, medicinal chemistry, and everywhere in between. Our next recipient goes to Ryan Archer. 
Ryan does research in polymer chemistry in the lab of Professor Michael Schulz. I nominated Ryan Archer for a graduate research award, knowing that he is one of the strongest students in our department. So I'm very pleased that his achievements are being recognized. Ryan started working in my lab three and a half years ago during my first year as a new professor, and he has already published four first author papers with more on the way. I actually think that his most interesting work will be published later this year. Ryan is part of my first cohort of students, which comes with special challenges. A new faculty member starts with somewhat vague ideas on paper, and it's up to that first group of students to turn them into actual projects. Ryan chose to tackle one of my more nebulous research ideas to control metal chelation by tuning the architecture of metal binding polymers. Since the time that Ryan joined my group, he has developed expertise in both synthetic and physical polymer chemistry, specifically investigating the thermodynamics of binding between rare earth elements and chelating polymers. He published two research papers on that topic last year, and when the pandemic closed our lab for a time last summer, Ryan turned it into an opportunity to write a tutorial review on isothermal titration calorimetry in polymer science, which was also published. Ryan has uh, achieved considerable independence in his project. He frequently comes up with new ideas and approaches and, it's, and is proactive about giving them a try in the lab. I look forward to seeing what new and unexpected results he brings to our regular meetings. An exhaustive list of Ryan's scientific contributions would be too long to share, but suffice it to say that many of the research directions we're currently pursuing originated with Ryan. I'll close simply by saying that Ryan is among the most outstanding researchers in our department, and I'm very fortunate to have him in my group. I'm happy his efforts are being recognized with this award. It is well deserved. The next award recipient, who, by the way, very recently defended his PhD degree, congratulations. This award goes to Justin Grams, who was nominated by his research advisor, Professor Webster Santos. Congratulations, Justin. Congratulations to Justin Grams for winning the Department of Chemistry Research Award. Justin has only been in my group for about three years, and he's already published many papers. We expect that he will publish about seven papers, and five of those he will be first author. So congratulations, Justin. So Justin's work involves the synthesis of organoboron compounds. In particular, he installs boron in a trans fashion where the boron and the hydrogen um, are opposite each other in a carbon-carbon double bond. These compounds are important for uh, material science. They are important for the synthesis of more complex molecules. And also they are useful as potential medicine. Um, in, in the study of these molecules, he was able to then to develop phosphonium compounds um, that are very elaborate, which we think are going to be useful as mitochondrial couplers. Mitochondrial couplers are molecules um, that we think are going to be useful for the treatment of metabolic diseases. He has won many awards. Uh, he has won doctoral assistantship awards from the graduate school. Um, he recently won an ACS Bridge Career and Professional Development Award. Um, and, you know, he is a great teacher. Uh, he has won at least two teaching awards from the Department of Chemistry. In addition to that, he is a great citizen of the department. Um, he is a volunteer for doing NMRs on Saturdays and Sundays. Um, in terms of encouraging kids to go into STEM uh, studies, he volunteered uh, when the Montgomery County School High School students came to Virginia Tech. Um, he performed a magic show for them. And he has also gone to uh, Emory and uh, Henry College um, to present his work and then to uh, expose those students uh, with the science that's ongoing in the department. So overall, um, Justin is not a great teacher. He's a great researcher. He is also a great citizen of the department. So congratulations, Justin. As I mentioned, we have graduate students performing wonderful research across a wide variety of disciplines. The final award recipient of the Graduate Research Award for 2021 continues that trend. That award goes to Jury Xu. Congratulations. You are nominated by your advisor, Professor Fun Lin. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you, Corinne, for setting this up. And, uh, 
Thank you, uh, uh, Selection Committee, for choosing Generate Three as one of the awardees for this year's Graduate Research Award, and uh, I really appreciate that. Um, and uh, you know, it's hard to say you know how great Generate is in just two minutes. I'm just to give you a few numbers. Um, Generate joined the lab in uh, in 2017 and has already published 25 papers and uh, with quite a few first author papers in top journals in our field, including. Uh, nature communications, advanced materials, uh, biophysics letter, and uh, uh, journal materials chemistry A, and, and, and a few other ones. Um, and, uh, you know, he has really uh, established as a, as a very good example to represent how great, um, you know, my graduate students and postdocs are at Virginia Tech. And, uh, and he has also helped, helped me train quite a few junior graduate students and uh, a lot of undergrads as well in the past. Um, and obviously, these students also help uh, make generate a, a better scientist as well through their collaboration. And I really appreciate the collaborative network they are building up uh, in the lab and uh, learning and improving from each other. Um, and generally, uh, another another important uh, contribution that generally has made is uh, in our collaborations with the Department of Energy National Labs. Uh, for those who uh, uh, know our research or, or our work uh, enough, will we'll know that uh, you know we collaborate a lot with national labs, and it's important to have someone who is able to handle those collaborations. Um, I think Zhenrui has done that very nicely, and obviously my other students also have done that very nicely. Um, uh, again, you know, two minutes is just not enough, and uh, and that there are so many great things I can talk about, uh, Zhenrui. Uh, with that, uh, congratulations, Stanley, for your achievement and uh, for this recognition. As an advisor, I'm not satisfied. I'm always looking for seeing, looking forward to seeing more co uh, contributions and, and more excellent contributions from you in the near future. Thanks. Finally, the most prestigious graduate research award that we provide within the Department of Chemistry is made possible through someone who's dedicated his life to research and new discovery, Professor William Starnes and his wife, Sophia. Professor Starnes is an alumnus of Virginia Tech who supported our program for many years, and we thank him for his support. And I'm very happy to be able to announce that we had several excellent nominations for this particular award this year, and the Graduate Education Committee did a fantastic job of whittling down that list to just one. It is my great pleasure to make the Starnes Research Award for 2021 to Jerry Xu. Jerry was nominated by his advisor, Professor Feng Lin. Congratulations, Jerry. Wow, Jerry, huge congratulations. Second award for the day. Now I can tell you as your advisor, I'm very happy and I'm very much satisfied now. And I'm extremely proud of your achievements uh, you have made over the years. Uh, thank you, Bill and Sophia Starnes for establishing this uh, graduate student uh, fellowship. Um, and also thanks to the fellowship selection committees for choosing generally uh, this year for this prestigious fellowship. Um, I have already said a lot of great things about generally in his last award just a moment ago, this time, I will highlight the uh, practical importance of his research and uh, starting from his very early age, uh, years in my lab, Generate has started to make important contributions to the lithium ion battery research at Virginia Tech. I I'm really delighted that uh, he eventually chose to join our lab. Um, his research aims to improve the capacity, energy density and safety of batteries for use in electric vehicles. He has been working on a family of battery materials that have immediate positive impact on the battery cars running on the road. Just a couple of years ago, I told one of our senior colleagues in the department that uh, generally was going to make our battery research known to the battery community it would be a very good representation of our excellent research program here at Virginia Tech. Today, I'm really proud to say Zhenrui is on track to make that happen. Um, his research has caught great attention from multiple organizations, funding agencies, companies, 
universities and national labs across the country and uh, across the globe. Uh, for example, recently, um, he has been offered a, a summer intern position at Tesla. Uh, this is just a, another, another testimony to his great scientific achievements. Um, uh, for those who are familiar with electric vehicles and the, the, the movement of the entire country or the entire world to electrify transportations, Tesla is one of those uh, top players um, on this planet. Uh, many of you know that I'm a, I'm a basketball fan and many of my colleagues have played basketball with me in the past. And Zhenrei and I also played a few games in the past together. Uh, in the basketball, you know, many teams are looking for someone just like Michael Jordan or Steph Curry on their court. Um, Zhenrei is one of those students who can make nice moves on the court and get the ball in the basket. And this is essentially what every single coach is looking for. And that's what every single advisor is looking for as well. And I believe Zhenrei is really one of those players. Uh, with that, uh, thank you uh, for the, thank you to the uh, selection committee and huge thanks to Bill and Sophia for establishing this fellowship and congratulations Zhenrei one more time. And uh, hope you will enjoy this award. And uh, this is a great month for you. You have you know, multiple awards uh, in the book and also uh, you know, uh, a nice uh, summer intern petition uh, coming up in the month. Well, congratulations to all our awardees and thank you for your dedication and hard work. I look forward to seeing you around the department as COVID restrictions continue to ease and we get back to somewhat of a normal life in the research lab. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce the director of our undergraduate program Dr. Patricia Amateus. Hello, my name is Dr. Patricia Amateus and I am the Director of Undergraduate Programs in the Department of Chemistry. It is my pleasure now to recognize the undergraduates who due to their academic and research achievements are the 2020-2021 recipients of the Department of Chemistry Awards and Scholarships. The first student we would like to recognize is the recipient of the Department of Chemistry Aglarusso Family Scholarship. In 2011, Professor Emeritus Michael Aglarusso and his family established the Aglarusso Family Scholarship to honor scholarly accomplishments for a chemistry bachelor science major. Nick Bowers, who has completed his first two years as a chemistry major, has been chosen to receive the scholarship. The American Chemical Society Analytical Chemistry Award. The American Chemical Society Division of Analytical Chemistry sponsors an undergraduate award in analytical chemistry to encourage student interest in analytical chemistry and to recognize students who display an aptitude for a career in that field. This year, the award, which consists of a certificate and an email subscription to highlights from the journal Analytical Chemistry, goes to Cooper Johnston. The Department of Chemistry at Virginia Tech contributes an additional $100 in recognition of Cooper's accomplishments. The American Chemical Society Inorganic Chemistry Award. In 2009, the ACS Division of Inorganic Chemistry established the Undergraduate Award in Inorganic Chemistry, which consists of a personalized certificate and a letter of commendation signed by the chair of the division. This award is intended to recognize achievement by undergraduate students in inorganic chemistry and to encourage further study in the field. The Department of Chemistry at Virginia Tech adds a $100 award to this year's recipient of the ACS Inorganic Chemistry Award, Adam Gagin. The American Chemical Society Organic Chemistry Award. The ACS Division of Organic Chemistry's Outstanding Senior Organic Chemistry Student Award is intended to recognize senior students who have displayed significant aptitude for organic chemistry as evidenced by their formal coursework, 
as well as their research accomplishments during the course of their undergraduate studies. The award also recognizes a student's desire to pursue a career in chemistry. The award consists of a letter of recognition, a certificate, and membership to the Division of Organic Chemistry. The Department of Chemistry at Virginia Tech adds a $100 award to honor this year's recipient, Emily Stacy. The American Chemical Society Physical Chemistry Award. In 2017, the ACS Division of Physical Chemistry established the Undergraduate Award in Physical Chemistry to recognize outstanding achievement by undergraduate students in physical chemistry and to encourage further pursuits in the field. The nominee will have demonstrated excellence in physical chemistry and related fields based on research, coursework, and or dedication as defined by the nominating institution. Each ACS certified department is eligible to nominate one student for this award, and the Department of Chemistry at Virginia Tech adds a $100 award to honor this year's recipients, Cooper Johnston. The ACS Hawk Land Grant Undergraduate Scholarship. The ACS Hawk Land Grant Undergraduate Scholarship is awarded to chemistry majors who attend one of our 72 partner institutions and express an interest in teaching high school chemistry. Students are selected on the basis of chemistry aptitude, interest, and need. The selection process is administered by partner universities. Scholars receive $10,000 per academic year for up to six years. Students must meet the award criteria each year to renew a scholarship. The scholarship can be applied to tuition, books, room and board, and other education-related expenses. The Department of Chemistry at Virginia Tech is proud to recognize Chad Knappick and Samantha Scott as our 2020-2021 ACS Hawk Land Grant Scholar, uh, undergraduate scholarship recipients. Chad is completing his master's in education after his student teaching experience at Blacksburg High School this spring, and Samantha just completed a semester teaching general chemistry students as a studio instructor. The American Chemical Society Virginia Blue Ridge Section James Lewis Howe Award. Each year, the Virginia Blue Ridge Section of the American Chemical Society recognizes outstanding achievements by college seniors by giving the James Lewis Howe Award. The award is given to top seniors in chemistry departments within the region. This year, the Department of Chemistry at Virginia Tech recognizes Yudi and Wu for this honor, and we contribute an additional $100 award to the ACS Blue Ridge section award that was awarded previously in a virtual ceremony. Academic Excellence Award. This award, which consists of a certificate and $100, goes to undergraduate chemistry majors who have demonstrated excellence and exhibited a sense of professionalism in their academic studies. This year's Academic Excellence Award recipients are Joseph Barker, Adam Gagin, Ping Chuan Lu, Linda Lyons, Carol Ann Rosenblum, Carly Shulin, Emily Stacy, Sasha Vaughn, John Williams, Yudian Wu. The General Chemistry Viers Achievement Award. Virginia Tech alumnus, Dr. Don Lee, has donated funds in honor of Dr. Jimmy Viers, a now retired chemistry professor, to provide awards to students who demonstrate superior understanding in the field of general chemistry, with strong emphasis given to the effort required by the students. These students are generally freshmen students who have been in one of our general chemistry classes this academic year. The Viers Achievement Award winners this year are Martha Chen, Zane Anthony Clark, Lauren Duma, Magana Caminini, and Sarah Miller. 
each of these recipients will receive a monetary award. Department of Chemistry Karen J. Brewer Memorial Award. In honor of the late Karen J. Brewer, who earned the rank of full professor of chemistry at Virginia Tech in 2005, the Department of Chemistry is proud to recognize two students who excelled in general chemistry for chemistry majors lab this academic cycle. The recipients are Abigail Abner and Alex Seek, and they each will receive a $100 award. The Department of Chemistry's undergraduate research symposium was held virtually last week. The students' poster presentations were judged, and this year's winners are first place, Piper McNichol from the Michael Schultz Group. Second place, Connor Thompson from the Greg Liu Group. And third place, Isabella Elliott from the Liu Madsen Group. They will each get a $100 Amazon gift card. The Department of Chemistry is fortunate to be able to have several undergraduate academic scholarships to award each year. The following undergraduate chemistry students were selected for merit and need-based scholarships from the Department of Chemistry during the 2020-2021 academic cycle. The recipient of the Dr. Roy H. Bible Jr. Class of 48 Memorial Scholarship is Adam Gagin. The Julius P. Bellasoli Endowed Scholarship was awarded this year to Emily Stacy. The John B. and Sarah Hopper Harvey Endowed Scholarship recipient is Linda Lyons. The recipient of the Dallas A. Kinzer and Robert T. Johnson Scholarship is Christopher Rosser. The John William May Class of 42 Scholarship was awarded to Martin Dudek. The Charles B. Walker Scholarship was awarded this year to Sasha Vaughn. The R.S. Witten Scholarship recipient, recipients are Ping Chuing Lu and Carol Ann Rosenblum. Several students were awarded scholarships from the Chemistry Friends Scholarship Fund. These students are Carly Shulin, Joseph Barker, Isabella Elliott, Edward Priestess, Madeline Dela Cruz, and Javier Ortez Alvarado. The Timothy E. and Victoria K. Long Undergraduate Scholar Science Scholarships were created to recognize students who demonstrate passion and perseverance in the interdisciplinary education of science. Cable Eads, a chemistry major nominated by Dr. John Madsen, earned this scholarship in recognition of his perseverance in his research through a mentor change and a pandemic, all while earning a double major in chemistry and nanoscience. Kevin Cover, a chemical engineering major nominated by Professor Harry Doran, earned this scholarship for his involvement in interdisciplinary research that has already led to a publication. The James E. McGrath Undergraduate Research Award. Two Virginia Tech alumni, Professors Joseph D. Simone and Timothy E. Long, established this scholarship in honor of the late Professor James E. McGrath to provide generous recognition to students who demonstrate excellence and passion for interdisciplinary research in the field of polymer chemistry. This scholarship reflects Professor McGrath's commitment to interdisciplinary research and discovery and emerging interfaces of polymer chemistry. Our undergraduate McGrath scholarship winner this year is Alex Coley, who was nominated by Michael Schultz. Dr. Schultz praised Ryan's work ethic, his lab skills, and positive attitude. Congratulations to all of our award recipients. You should be proud of your outstanding achievements. And now I'll turn the program over to the chair of the Department of Chemistry, Dr. Alan Isker. Thank you, Patricia. Now it is time for our faculty and staff awards. The Harold 
M. McNair Staff Service Award is a staff award recognizing service at the departmental, university, and community levels. Dr. M. McNair established this award to recognize the spirit of cooperation, dedication, and outstanding service of our support staff. The awardee has been selected from nominations by faculty and staff and has been judged to best exemplify those characteristics. According to the committee of Emily Shepard, Ken Knott, and Steve Breeding, the recipient of this year's Staff Service Award was chosen from a deep pool of candidates. COVID placed unique challenges on the laboratory staff. This person has transformed the operation of the labs in Han Hall North. During the initial COVID shutdown, we had a deadline to empty Han Hall South Labs for the temporary relocation of Davidson workers that generated greater than 1,000 old chemical bottles for ticketing and waste disposal. At the same time, faculty were scrambling to record laboratory experiments for online instruction that required the staff to prepare materials and adapt setups for filming under stressful conditions. We also needed to make the teaching space ready for temporary research space during the Davidson Hall Air Handler project. At the completion of this project, the labs needed to be cleaned and prepared for fall instruction with the constraint of students working individually. Moreover, this person had to devise a plan to squeeze additional students through the Syntec labs because of over-enrollment while staying under COVID lab capacities and maintaining strict safety protocols. Additionally, this person needed to help launch an entirely new lab, the Medicinal Chemistry Capstone Lab. Every step of the way, this person made incredible contributions and brought attention to detail, resourcefulness, and a cheery disposition to meeting these extraordinary challenges. The recipient of this year's Harold M. McNair Staff Service Award is Nikin Nazem. Next up is the Alan F. Clifford Service Award, recognizing outstanding faculty service at the departmental, university, and community levels. This award is presented to a departmental faculty member whose contributions to the undergraduate and graduate programs, students and faculty are judged by his or her peers to exemplify the standards of selfless service set by Professor Clifford during his career in the department. The recipient of this year's award served as chair of the executive committee as the pandemic hit and in this role helped guide our response. They led the drafting of our department level guidelines, which included among many other things, a painstaking analysis of all the bathroom stalls in our research buildings and a plan for how to reduce potential spread in these small common spaces. This was a time when we needed leadership and this person did a great job of taking suggestions from others on the committee at the time and managing and varying points of view as they crafted our guidelines. There were points of disagreement, but this person took everyone's views seriously and made it clear we all had the same goals in mind. The success of this person's hard work last year is clear. To my knowledge, we have had only a handful of COVID cases in our department since the start of the pandemic, but no cases have spread within our walls. What better service could there be than keeping us safe? The recipient of this year's Alan F. Clifford Service Award is Professor Lou Madison. Now it is time for the John C. Shug Research Award, which was established by E. Gary Cook a Virginia Tech alumnus, to recognize faculty members who demonstrate exceptional creativity and productivity in their research. As is the case in most years with a research department as powerful as ours, the competition for this year's award was particularly strong. 
This year, the award went to one of our emerging stars. Since joining Virginia Tech as an assistant professor in 2016, this person has published in excess of 60 papers in outstanding journals such as Nature Communications, Nature Catalysis, Advanced Materials, Advanced Energy Materials, etc., and has given more than 30 invited talks. The research program has participated in greater than 5 million in externally funded and greater than 350,000 in internally funded research. They have received several major Young Investigator Awards, including a recently awarded 2021 NSF Career Award, a 2020 Research Corporation for Science Advancement SILOG Fellowship, and the 2020 ACS PRF Doctoral New Investigator Award. This person has been named a young scientist or an emerging investigator by the journal Energy Storage Materials and the Journal of Materials Chemistry for their outstanding efforts in the area of battery research. The recipient of this year's John C. Shug Research Award is Professor Fung Lin. Last but not least, the Jimmy W. Byers Teaching Award was also established by E. Gary Cook and is presented to a faculty member in recognition of outstanding teaching within the Department of Chemistry. The chemistry faculty boasts a number of tenure track and instructional faculty who have won major teaching awards from the college and university. Much like the research award, there is never a shortage of strong competition for the teaching award. This year's recipient was a previous recipient of the College of Science Certificate of Teaching Excellence. Nonetheless, they have not previously received the Jimmy W. Byers Teaching Award. Over the course of this person's career, the list of contributions to education, research, and outreach are immense. This person started as an instructor in our department in 2010 and teaches in our general chemistry program for both majors and non-majors. They were a pioneer in the adoption of iClicker in large classroom instruction and played a substantial role in the conversion of Chem 1035 and 1036 to the Pathways General Education proposal. Since 2012, they have taught in the STEP program and since 2017, they have taught winter master. From the very beginning, this person was a leader in outreach, especially chemistry demonstrations for K through 12 schools. That led to the 2012 College of Science Outreach Excellence Award and the 2014 Alumni Outreach Award. Their efforts were also a significant part of two exemplary department awards in 2014 and 2016. Finally, after the untimely passing of their research mentor, Karen Brewer, this person stepped up to serve on graduate student committees and helped mentor the remaining students so they could graduate. The recipient of the Jimmy W. Byers Teaching Award is Dr. Shamindri Arachage. In closing, thank you again to all of our students, faculty, and staff for truly exceptional work this year. Also, thank you to our alumni for your generous contributions that make these awards possible. I look forward to being together again soon.